the MiG-21 PD stands as a significant milestone in Soviet aviation history, marking the nation's initial foray into experimental sorting of a landing aircraft. In response to the growing advancements in vertical sorting of a landing aircraft technology in Western nations, particularly in the United States, France, and the United Kingdom, the traditionally conservative Soviet Union found itself compelled to reassess its approach to aircraft design. As a result, the Soviet Union embarked on a series of endeavors aimed at exploring STOL capabilities, while the more well-known project, the Yark-38, ultimately entered squadron service, less recognized are efforts to modify existing aircraft platforms to incorporate additional lift mechanisms. Among these pioneering endeavors was the MiG-21 PD. The MiG-21 PD represented a bold attempt to adapt the existing MiG-21 platform by integrating an additional lift model onto its standard airframe. This innovative modification aimed to enhance the aircraft's STOL capabilities, allowing for shorter takeoff and landing distances compared to conventional aircraft of its time. The MiG-21 PD featured modifications to its airframe to accommodate additional lift engines. These engines were installed to provide extra thrust during takeoff and landing, enabling the aircraft to operate from all steer airfields with limited runway length. Two Kolesov RG3635 lift engines located in the center of gravity. Because of this, must be added an additional section behind the cockpit, bringing the total length of the aircraft to 14.1 meters. Main engine nozzle was slightly shifted forward. Lift engines were used only during takeoff and landing, so the air inlet at the top of the nozzle, as well as protect the foldable deflectors. At maximum thrust, tears the entire top cover upward and downward. The first flight took place on June 16, 1966. The improvement flight characteristics during takeoff and landing, however, was not sufficient to justify a reduction in capacity and range. And therefore, the development was discontinued. With the addition of the lift engines, the MiG-21 PD exhibited improved low-speed handling characteristics and reduced takeoff and landing distances compared to standard MiG-21 variants. This enhanced performance was particularly valuable for operations in rugged or undeveloped terrain, where traditional airfields were unavailable. The MiG-21 PD was primarily an experimental aircraft, and only a limited number of prototypes were produced for testing purposes. Its design and configuration were tailored to evaluate the feasibility and effectiveness of STOL technology in enhancing the operational capabilities of the fighter aircraft. While the MiG-21 PD served as a precursor to subsequent STOL-capable aircraft designs, it did not enter mass production or widespread operational service. Instead, its role was primarily focused on gathering data and insights to inform future developments in Soviet aviation technology. Despite its experimental status, 
the MiG-21 PD play a significant role in advancing the field of aviation by pushing the boundaries of traditional fighter aircraft design. Its testing and evaluation provided valuable lessons that contributed to the development of more advanced STOL and vertical takeoff and landing aircraft in subsequent years. Overall, the MiG-21PD represents a notable chapter in the evolution of military aviation, highlighting the Soviet Union's commitment to exploring innovative technologies to enhance the capabilities of its fighter aircraft fleet. Its experimental nature paved the way for future developments in STOL aircraft within the Soviet aviation industry, leaving a lasting impact on the evolution of military aviation worldwide.